as a as a nation as a society we have to encourage more and more girls to follow their dreams we have to encourage more and more girls to do what they love no matter how out of the box it is with the wpl i think it's become really really cool for them we are far ahead of any other country you have the biggest athletes of the world coming out and saying that you know pressure is real and mental health is real and depression is real um sometimes people kind of forget i think that as athletes we are also normal human beings who feel the same who have the same feelings who feel sad and upset and happy and excited and and um, depressed and i think that is very important that that human side has been um, almost revealed uh, in many ways as athletes and and i'm all for being real so i i love the fact that we are actually talking about it. Uh, do you think Sanya is still in our country? We need to do more about women empowerment, especially women empowerment if in sports. Are uh, are we doing enough in comparison to other countries? No, I think that we can definitely do better, and I think that no matter what happens, we always have to try and improve. And I think that uh, if you compare it to what it was 30 years ago when I started playing tennis. it's we are ahead by you know thousand folds but do we not have uh, the capacity to go more we 100% do um so i think that um, we as a as a nation as a society we have to encourage more and more girls to follow their dreams we have to encourage more and more girls to do what they love no matter how out of the box it is and i think that um, slowly that is happening but uh, there is always room for improvement Uh, we have seen especially if we talk about women cricket team so a lot of things are happening right now in comparison to other countries so what you would like to say about it yeah most definitely no most definitely i think wpl has been the biggest uh, a uh, revelation for the women's cricket that has happened right because the women's cricket have always played it's not like they haven't played they just haven't gotten the recognition um like the male cricketers used to get and and now with this platform with the WPL i think it's become really really cool for them to be able to showcase their talent and also show how good they really are at what they do and and um the more eyeballs the more tv uh, you know the bigger the sport gets and i think that definitely w- when it comes to that we are we are far ahead of any other country yeah uh, another question uh, is sania that you know we have seen that uh, especially whenever olympics comes then there everybody expects that you know the, about the gold medal so in sports like tennis uh, there are a lot of expectations always in uh, other sports like boxing and all what do you think about the upcoming olympics well i think well i think first of all if every time an olympics comes we can't expect gold medals if we are not supporting them throughout the four years that have gone by so i think that the first and most important thing is to first understand that gold medals are not made overnight gold medals are made by years and years of tears and sweat and um, the athlete is putting in years of work you know may, with or without recognition and uh, you know people are noticing it only 2 3 months before olympics so i think that the first thing is to support those athletes throughout their journey not just in the olympic year that's the first and foremost thing and that's when we will really and when you invest in your athletes it's when you will get a lot more medals um you know and we are we are improving every time that we go uh, to uh, olympics or every time we go to asian games we are improving and that is a that is a very encouraging sign but uh, like i said there's always room for improvement so you have to support your athletes throughout for years it's an investment of 5 6 7 years not just about few months uh sanya one more thing uh, that you know what are your plans after the retirement uh i mean right now i i uh Uh, honestly one of my reasons to retire was to try and spend more time with my son and which i'm being able to do which i really like and um, i still work i still uh, you know i i do i have my tennis academy back in india in hyderabad i have a few tennis academies in dubai i shuttle a lot between i've i've been doing a lot of broadcasting i do a lot of tv um so i keep myself quite busy but i d- deliberately don't keep myself that busy because of one of uh, one of my reasons was to try to just slow down and and spend some more time with my son how you maintain your fitness um i think that yeah just uh, you have to really i mean you have to obviously follow a diet but you also have to work out every day and for me it's very important to health is very important and it's very important not about the physical health of how you look it's how you feel and i think that's how i really you know gauge how my fitness is